Welcome back. It's a special Friday here on Mornings at ANC. Now, another Filipino is making a mark in the global entertainment scene. Filipino-American singer and composer Michael Copin has appeared in shows like One Tree Hill and CSI Miami, and he's now making waves in the music scene. Let's give it up on Mornings right here for Michael Copin. Take it away, Michael. Thank you, Jim. Oh, yeah. Phony city boy Trying to play it cool Oh yeah Hey girl Would you give me a chance To try and show you who I really am And how I know we could be Together I remember clearly First time I saw you around And you were holding someone And I was just a face in the crowd But you were more than my heart could handle You bewitched me, girl I don't know why I am so damn drawn to you But since I am, I really hope you feel it too Cause if you do, it sure ain't me that dreams come true Tell me darling, tell me do you feel it too Oh yeah, yeah Show me girl that dreams do come true Hey girl, do you think we could be friends? Or maybe even just a little more Oh, I could pretend <laughs> Cause I don't know what it is about you But you're driving me insane And I do believe I'm crazy now About you <laughs> I guess you can say that I've always had a one-track mind, baby But you've been on that train for a very, very, very long time With no stops, just a one-way ticket, girl, to my heart, yeah but I don't know why I am so damn drawn to you <laughs> you wanna touch it? Maybe it's your smile or those eyes are blue Actually they're brown, but it's okay But since I am, I really hope you feel it too Cause if you do, it surely means the dreams come true Oh, yeah, 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 she feels it Show me, girl, that dreams do come true Oh, how are you? You're beautiful, huh? I'm a Love you. Come on over. <laughs> No, no, that's, that's not, no, was that an act? Is this not, no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally teasing. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you. One more round of applause, guys. What a very charming and 
absolutely talented uh, young man. <laughs> All right, I can't, I can't even really think right now. I'm blushing. You made me, you made me blush. All right, well, welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to Mornings at ANC. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. It's your first visit to the to the Philippines. Before we get into the music and and how uh, successful your career has been in Hollywood, it's your first time in the country. I mean, how is it? How have you been? It's just been a couple of, of days yeah, that you've been so here, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, it's, it's been so busy every day, but it feels like, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's only been, uh, I guess, a week or something like that, mm -hmm. but uh, everything's everywhere. It's, it's, just, it's just such a different city, I didn't know what to expect. And I just came here, my, my whole family's from Cavite, mm -hmm. Salinas. Um, um, my whole, whole family moved to Virginia. My grandfather was in the U.S. Navy, so he took my whole family there. So, um, but being here in the Philippines is just—it's so good to give, like, finally let people know I'm not Puerto Rican, like yeah. as you thought. <laughs> I know, I'm I actually thought Filipino. you were Puerto Rican. Uh, yeah. You know, I watched uh, the the projects that you were in in Hollywood and or on TV um, in the States, and and um, I never, I never thought, I never thought that uh, you were Filipino. <laughs> well, Do you? Did you find um, a little uh, connection, a little more of a connection to your roots, or did you kind of just piece together? a couple things since you've been here like oh that's yeah. the reason why I really like rice I don't know you know just <laughs> yeah. something kind of random well, it was really weird we went to McDonald's and there was rice served at the breakfast yeah right um, you know it just seemed the, the whole city it just made me kind of look at my dad almost in a different way mm -hmm. like how just seeing how he grew up he grew up here and it just it put things in perspective for me yeah you know, I grew up with my dad my whole life but I've never been to the Philippines to seen how he grew up or where he grew up so just to see that just totally gave me a new perspective on on my own family mm -hmm. Um, That's wonderful to yeah. hear. Well, Filipino people uh, are very warm and uh, we're very proud of uh, fellow Filipinos who are making it big in other areas of the world. You've had a successful uh, career in, in acting and, and now singing and composing. Um, but I must admit, one of my um, my memories of you on uh, on the small screen is not just One Tree Hill, but the Power Rangers. Tell us, I mean, <laughs> how your, your career kind of started out. Uh, well, that's basically how it started. I moved to L.A. Um, and uh, I was struggling pretty hard uh, I, I lived in my car for about six months and Power Rangers was my first audition literally ever. lived literally, in your car I literally lived in my it was my it was a truck so I had a, a twin mattress in the back for the camper shell and I lived there because um, my family doesn't have a lot of money so but I really wanted to make it mm -hmm. and that that job got me into my first apartment and um, was able to buy like a nicer bed and you know actually a dresser but, well for the longest time I had just my suitcase I was using as a dresser. My dad came over because he flew in to visit. He was like, Mike, what are you doing? Like, He's like, go get a dresser set. I just didn't want to waste any money because I got so used to living out of it. That's so, right. But um, that was well, the people, first job and then, yeah. People have stories like that all the time. Like if you really love acting, people move to LA and try to make their dreams come true and yours has come true, but it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy climb. Tell us just a little bit about uh, how much you kind of have to love the craft and have love the career that you're in. Oh man, you got you got to love it. I mean, it, it's nervous wreck. I mean, I, I still get nervous every time I'm going to sing or perform or mm -hmm. even when I'm acting. Don't but, be nervous here with me. <laughs> she makes me nervous. <laughs> um, but, but at the same time, when you're, when you're up there, it's the best feeling in the entire world. Mm -hmm. um, sharing your art to the world, uh, playing a, a role in the movie, you're expressing that, that, that moment in your life that you probably learned from. You gotta love your craft so much because you, you hear like a million no's before you hear one yes. Do you so. remember of all the things that you've been a part of or seeing some of the clips right yeah. now? Do you remember, um, is this Bring It On? That, was that This is a movie called Boy Band that I just produced. Well, it's a oh. joke on boy bands, yeah. Um, I'm producing another one called uh, Killer Holiday right now as well. So that's a psychological thriller. That's the one that you're working on to uh, submit to, uh, yeah, to Sundance? Yeah, yeah, this is one of them. This is like a Napoleon Dynamite meets uh, Superbad um, in, in the 80s era. And then the new one, Killer Holiday. <laughs> yeah, that's me. And then, and then, and then, and then in the new one... Uh, we're, just, we're just seeing totally different sides of you, uh, well, just even in these uh, clips right now. I mean, very uh, multi-talented. You kind of just run the gambit as to you know, producing, being uh, the actor, and then singer, composer. You're opening up for Bruno Mars in, uh, in about a week. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, April seventh in Cebu. Sorry, I didn't mean the to. The waterfront, yeah. and then uh, April eighth here in Manila. I didn't mean to Arena cut you off Policy. about talking about your projects, but how? Why do you think? Why do you think you're able to, to to do all these different things? How did you hone your skills so that you can multitask and that you do have, you know, an, a, an appreciation for for the different aspects of what you do? Well, um, well, basically, I wanted to do everything and, and to wait for a producer to pr produce a song for you, and then after you produce, after they produce it, and then you gotta record it. Mm -hmm. So then I had to learn how to record, and then then you have to wait for someone to mix it, and master it. So I learned how to just do everything, mix and master it, so I could just record in my own studio, mix it, edit it, um, re-record if I need to, rewrite something if I need to. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and and I, I stay up all hours of the night. I'm like a night owl. I'm literally like a vampire. I stay up till like 7, 8 a.m. every night. If you watch my tweets from now on, by the way, follow me at Michael Copan. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you watch my I tweets, so you'll, you. you'll say good night at like 7 a.m. That's like using my sleep time. But uh, And then when it comes to the acting thing, I just... Uh, when I'm in my acting mode, I'm only in my acting mode. When I'm in... When I'm not doing a film or a TV show, um, I'm just working on music constantly. Okay, so I've noticed that the amount of work here, is, there's a lot more. I've, I've talked to like Vice Ganda and Ann Curtis. We went out to dinner last mm -hmm. the other night, and they're just constantly working, working, working mm -hmm. on stuff. See, in America, it's not like that, especially for the Filipino race. It's uh, we're, we're like the two percent of. That's right. uh, You'll never see an audition for a Filipino actor in a film. Like even Bring It On, when I got it, uh, originally it was for a. Um, a Caucasian guy named Billy and I booked it and then they were like well since you look Latin we're gonna make you uh, like Spanish well, I said, well can, why can't I just be Filipino mm -hmm, in the movie mm -hmm. and speak Tagalog and they're like no we're gonna make you Latin so. well you, you definitely you're right I mean uh, the, the Filipino community just in general whether it be in entertainment or not is really just beginning to make waves and making yeah. a, a name and, and a specific niche uh, for for themselves and so I'm sure it's an uphill climb for you to really kind of push through but I think you're doing a great job I mean you're showing that Filipinos are yeah. multi-talented and well naturally most Filipinos not myself this but is the new film that I just oh, this produced. one yeah. that's that's great that this is a psycho thriller it's a psycho yeah psychological thriller it's about, uh, it's like kind of like Silence of the Lambs meets uh, Basic Instinct. I, I got to play a, uh, a character that was really close to me. That's someone from my past kind of like, it, it's, a, it's a mock of that character. That's it's me getting a strike because I'm really that, good. Uh, that's part of the movie or is that uh, on the <laughs> no, weekend? No, no, this is just... That's, that's just for yeah, fun. This oh, is just okay. <laughs> this is just, and this is you uh, yes. serenading someone that's uh, very I'm, I'm happy. I'm squishing a girl. <laughs>